going on world so i'm back um good morning to everyone before i begin the uh, update and lit and video i want to first thank everyone that's been supportive um i can't do this without you all um it would really mean a lot to me if you can like subscribe and share with a friend as usual thank you um so latest update so I'm actually in West Virginia. Everything this thus far this weekend has been working out. Um, I got the load. As I showed you in the past video, I scrapped it, tarped it. So everything is working out. So I'm in West Virginia at a TA. Um, actually, my company actually decided to, who knows, to actually put the paperwork in for me to see what's going on with the vehicle, which took hours and hours and hours. I was constantly keep putting the DBR in, putting the same reports, which like again, like I stated, if you if you know about Western Express, you know about Western Express. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go no further than that. But some days I do get frustrated and just being the obvious. That's what this that's what this series is called, the obvious. Um but everything seemed to be okay. So they couldn't they couldn't detect what was the issue. They detected what was the issue, but it has to go to Freightliner because it's a freight line, it's a freight line issue. So they probably have to run and do a computer, turn off a switch or et cetera. That's what all, all new cars, vehicles, etc. You normally need to go to the dealer. Um, fun fact, when you buy a, uh, a, a vehicle, whether it's a truck, whether it's a car, try to stick with a dealer. Stop going to mom and pops because you don't know what did they do, what happened to this vehicle, what happened to this vehicle prior. You don't know anything about it so stick with a mom and pop don't stick with a mom and pop stick with a dealership and stop going to the your local mechanic that's been working on the same car for 20 years and yet it has the same issues like that's just that's that's just a sidebar I just, uh, you know i just wanted to say something like that um but yeah so everything seems to be going great thus far again i'm in west virginia it's, it's beautiful outside i mean very very beautiful i did a did a mini walk then i had to come back i was gonna i was gonna drive up to michigan because that's where this load have to be delivered at a home depot but i'm probably not because my 14 hour my my, my 70 hour work week is at 47 so normally what i do is on the weekend i do a 34 hour and it reset so I gain a extra, so I gain you know extra time back. I have a, a fresh seventy, so I don't want to chant it, and then I'm already wasting my clock. So you know, for drivers understand this, but those that don't know, DOT allows you seventy hour work week. Within that seventy hours, you know each day that you work, each day that you're on duty, you have fourteen hour window to work, but you only have eleven hours to drive. You know, so once you start, that your clock runs, period. So every day that you start, that you're on duty, your clock runs. So you try to you try to preserve it and save as much time as you can because you never know because you want to stretch it out as possible. So for me, as I'm OTR, so what I like to do is that I know I'm going to get a 34 hour on a weekend, so that helps me throughout the week. So what I'll do is I'll plan my trips accordingly. I couldn't do it this weekend because it was like sporadic, spare the motor sporadic events that occurred, which as you know, you you go, you everyone follows me, you know, those that followed the last videos and seen it, you know, but I still update you that I went to pick up a trailer, the trailer was, was, was preloaded, um, I had to sit it out the next day. Spoke to my DM. He got me the load. Um, now moving forward, I got to take this load to Michigan. So that's that in a nutshell. So, so yeah. So what I'm what I'm probably gonna do now is that I'm gonna rest until about eleven o'clock. Then my then my thirty four hour has has reset. Now I have a fresh seventy for the week, which I want. I want a fresh seventy for the week. I don't want to be. I don't be I don't want to be under 60 because that's going to be difficult um, to work with. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to drive up to Michigan um, to Home Depot, deliver the load, and then wait and then wait from there to see. Well, he said he's going to give me a load out of there. Hopefully he does. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed to see to see what's going to happen. Um, but other than that, the weekend was great. Oh, I met a, 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 a nice 
young gentleman. That sounds that sounds wild. Well, I met somebody from from Prime that he's you know he wanted to he's, he's he want to recruit me. He's probably going to recruit me, um, and I might more than likely I probably I probably had to prom. Um, you know, James James is a great guy. I'm gonna um, subscribe to his um, IG. Um, he's a great guy. You know, we both we both we pretty much both got the similar goals. I know I haven't spoken about my trucking goals that I want to do with trucking. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll touch base on it now. Then later on, I'll give a, a more in depth video. So within these within these next couple of months to two years, a total of two years only. It can be sooner. I want to gain as much experience as possible. I want to do teams and then I'm going to go LP. So this all can occur within the next couple of months, within the same year or two years. But in total, it's going to be two years that I'm with a company. And then I'm definitely going to own an app. The reason why I'm going to own an app because there's other things that I want to do that's going to take my time. And I don't want someone to tell me when and when I cannot go home. Um, so that's the issue that I'm having, right? But that goes with any job. You know, you work and you work nine to five, you go on break, you go home, etc. So I wanted that I have my own destiny in my hand. So that's why I'm, I'm pushing for me to hurry up and do this on an operator thing. With LP too, I can do LP and I can pretty much, that's lease purchase, everyone. I can pretty much have my own schedule as well. But I'm still on that someone's umbrella. I don't want to be on anyone's umbrella. I want to activate my LLC um, when I'm on an operator. So, so with that being said, I just wanted to give you a little update about that. But yeah, other than that, everything is going great. Um, like I said, I wanted to just touch base with you all and show you what's happening, where I'm at, what I'm doing moving forward. Um, so once I deliver this load in Michigan, hopefully I get another load um, directing me where. I have no idea. Um, but I just don't want any more setbacks. I know we all know, I keep emphasizing that setbacks do occur. Yes, I'm aware of that setbacks do occur and how do you prepare yourself when these setbacks occur. But I also don't like situations that can be avoided. And that's why, I still, that's why this series called The Obvious because most of what I've gone through with this company, with the situations could have been avoided. It should have been avoided, but it was not avoided. But I don't wanna I don't wanna hover over that. We always gotta think, you know, God and we always gotta think ourselves as well because without you, you can't be the best version of you. Yes, you do need God, but God is only gonna give you but so much. He's gonna guide you. You still need to do the work. Make sure you do the work. Don't ask God for something. He gives it to you, and then you don't do the work. Do the work. It's gonna get you there. Remember this channel is called Modifying Greatness. And we all great. We just got to modify whatever it is that we need to do to get to that greatness. We have to do it. And that's why I stick with what I always stated, modifying greatness. And we all we all are great. We all have talents. In ourselves, we just need to figure out what do we need to modify to be great. So that's what I wanted to spare with you all. A brief, brief video. I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to do another one a little later because um, I'll probably rest a little um i wanted to actually to actually look at some apps you know add more to to my to my videos etc because i have a bunch of things that i want to add on to it but because uh, uh you know circumstances I, i'll probably get to it next weekend this weekend i want to like relax re you know recuperate chill and then move forward from there and get ready for the work week um come monday which I hope I'm sure I'm gonna get some downtown within a week, unless she sent me somewhere crazy that I'm just like, oh man, um, like I don't know. But like, yeah, so we're gonna, so definitely gonna do that. Uh, as you can see, I'm woofing, man. I gotta, I gotta hurry up and get home because this is aggravating me. I don't like to look like this. I like to be, you know, clean cut, eyebrows neat, everything accordingly. Oh, before, I, before, before I get out, tr drivers, please shower. I don't want to bump into you. And you smell like horse shit, females or males. Wash your ass. This, this is, and this is, you don't even have to be a driver to wash your ass. This is something you're taught as a child. So whoever raising you all, they done a, a, a poor piss job because 
this ain't a behavior that you just occurred. This behavior has been priored before you became whoever you became. On your everyday life, wash your ass. Being on the road don't make you no difference. You take, you take home tendencies on the road with you, so you will have a better experience. I do not want to. I do not want to keep repeating myself about drivers not washing their ass. Please wash your ass. I like. I no. I'm not digressing. I'm being honest about that because I don't want to. I'm tired of bumping into somebody that looked like they ran through the mills of 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 the the fields of mud and smelling like last year, both men and females. Nah, that's not that's not cool. And especially in Virginia, Virginia has a poor ha hygiene ha hygiene issue. Nobody has teeth. Uh, everybody I've encountered, whether it's everyday people or even people at the terminal of the Virginia General, they all have no teeth or it's rotten. Come on, man. Get your hygiene in order. This is insane. But anyway, like I said, we all we all here to modify greatness. We all um stick together as a family. I appreciate everyone that's being supportive of my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, it's growing. This is not a it's not a race. It's a marathon. I don't expect I don't expect Rome to be built overnight. But I am asking that the support continues and you guys build with me and we go on this journey together. Um, as usual in sign language, love you all. Until the next one. Oh, wait. Before I end this, I wanted to leave a quote um, that I that I that I wrote. I wrote it a long time ago, actually. Small, a small little quote. Um, Don't let twenty years go by, and all you have is regrets. You are the only person that can change any any form of your direction, whether you have had setbacks or whether you're you're traveling to whatever success or goal you're trying to reach it's constantly getting it altered you still have the you still have the the the, the right of way to redirect yourself to get you to where you want if anything you got from this video take that message with you use it listen to it preach it and stand by it as usual love you all to the next one like subscribe and share with a friend Peace, family.